Heart disease is the leading killer of both men and women in the United States, but actually more women die from heart disease. Oxner's Dr. Richard Milani talks to us about what women need to do to have a healthy heart. Elodie Barone has coronary heart disease and is undergoing a stress echo test to try and learn more about her condition. Barone is taking her disease seriously because she knows that one in every two women die from heart disease. Heart disease is claiming as much as 25 times more lives each year than breast cancer is, and our women are dying from it without necessarily taking the right steps to prevent it. Women are less likely to survive a heart attack compared to men for reasons not yet known. Some experts believe that it's because women don't seek treatment as soon as men. Other experts say that because women have smaller heart and blood vessels, they are a prime target for heart disease. Women need to be more cognizant of the importance of heart attacks and their own individual risks and not assuming it's their husband's or dad's or uncle's or brother's disease. It's their disease too, unfortunately. Ochsner cardiologist Dr. Richard Milani says everybody should make it a daily routine to lead a healthy lifestyle. He says it's especially important to teach children good health habits because he says the habits we learn as children will carry forth to adulthood. Dr. Berlani says one important habit should be an annual physical examination. Any woman who's going to her physician for her routine checkup, and again, some men and women don't get routine checkups, but if one does, one certainly should include a cholesterol profile uh, as well as her blood pressure and the usual things, her blood sugars and the usual things that would be obtained during that visit. At that time and at every time, one's risk ought to be determined. Dr. Milani says the type of evaluation you may need will vary depending on such factors as your symptoms and family history. He also says it's important to note that heart disease symptoms are different for men and women, and those differences can cause problems. The more common in women is what we call epigastric discomfort, which is really just sort of right below the ribs in the upper abdomen area that may often be mistaken as indigestion or heartburn and be, you know, sort of blown off, so to speak, as not to worry. Certainly if it's uncomfortable, it's unexpected, it's not something that's clearly meal related, uh, one should be very concerned about it. Dr. Milani says cholesterol, high blood pressure, smoking, diabetes, and physical inactivity are the risk factors that are claiming the lives of women. But he also stresses that if you think these risk factors only affect older women, think again. Dr. Milani has performed bypass surgery in women as young as 35 years of age. For more information, call the Ochsner Heart and Vascular Institute at 504-842-4168.